As you all know, we've been here since morning at this wonderful society, Vijayanagar Society in Mumbai, and complementing the wonderful work that they've been doing for the environment. We've also discussed here through this panel the, the kind of interest that children are taking uh, in uh, working towards this very noble cause. And we'd now like to go to another school. We've been to a couple of schools before this. We now want to go to school in Bangalore. This is uh, a Vidyale that has enrolled in Green Schools Program Audit 2016 and has been awarded as the best waste manager in the waste management category by the Center for Science and Environment. So can we just go across to the Kendra Vidyale, uh, Vidyale Rail Wheel Factory? This is in Yalahanka in Bengaluru. Our colleague, Harish. Well, absolutely. They've been given as the best manager, best waste manager, and nothing really goes out of this campus here in terms of no waste goes to the municipal waste collection center. Everything is managed here. Nearly 80% of their waste is composted within the campus itself. And uh, let's remember, Bengaluru has been suffering with a bad solid waste management issue for the past seven years or so. And these children right behind me are giving hope that the city can actually change how it manages its garbage. Well, fantastic uh, uh, work put in here. What are some of the salient features you think that is really making Kendra Vidyalaya here in Yalanka stand apart? The first thing is the paper waste. The paper waste doesn't go out from our school. Uh, we recycle it. That is, we don't throw, crumble it or throw it in the dustbin as dry waste. Hmm. We have carton boxes in each class and we, are, we collect these papers. Hmm. And there is uh, authorized dealers known as WOW. Hmm. They come and collect it every fortnight okay. and uh, they recycle it. And on behalf, instead of that, we get A4 sheets, some play materials and hmm. also uh, we, do, we use it for SCPW, that is uh, extracurricular yeah, works. Yeah. And we make beautiful things that can, we can decorate our school. And uh, we take this home too because and in school we are taught, you, without, instead of throwing away rag cloths and all, we make mats out of it, which we can use as our own personal stuff also. Hmm. So that's how we do it. So I, one another important point is this crucial learning in the school is also being taken to your back home to your society's apartment complexes. Yeah, we really do that. Uh, we prepare manure in our homes. Instead of throwing the, the dustbins, we use it for preparing the manure. And, and also the other key feature is the campus is green and most of the manure comes from the compost that's generated here. Yeah, so we, we also have a compost pit and uh, the, all the dry leaves which are collected, we segregate all the plastic hmm. wrappers from that and we dump it in the compost pit. Hmm. So manure is developed and we use it for the gardens. Hmm. And also the other crucial fact that that's not practiced across the city is even the sanitary waste is separated. Yes, yeah. we, yeah. have, uh, we have a sanitary napkin uh, winding machines also. Okay. And we have and, uh, uh, sanitary, uh, sanitary napkins, uh, in incinerator machines, okay. where uh, it is burnt. We don't throw it in the dustbins. Yes. There, it is burnt and it is completely destroyed. So okay. it, it does not cause any pollution. Because it does not harm our society. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, when you talk... When you, when you talk to your friends in other schools, I mean non Kendra Vidyalaya schools in across Bangalore, do you think uh, this inspires them? Have any of them yeah. taken yeah, this yes. idea back oh, to yeah. their very school? Much, very yes, much. very much because we have friends from other KVs when we tell we are doing these, these things in our KVs mm. because they are also seniors in their KVs. Mm. So they take that thought to their school and they you know, implement it too. Mm. So it is not only helping us but people around us are also implementing. We go to house from house as campaigns, as some programs that are conducted in our school. Hmm. We go from door to door speaking about the importance and the need for waste management in our society. Fantastic. Well, what's it's, it's almost become a prestige issue with all the schools, Kendri Vidyalaya schools here in Bengaluru, nearly 50 of them. And uh, I'm told it's almost like a competition now on which school can be the greenest and which could be the one that segregates the entire waste. Joining us is uh, the Commissioner. Sir, how, will, how are you seeing this shaping up amongst the KVs in Bengaluru? Sir, all the 50 Kendra Vidyalayas, we are implementing these projects. Uh, last year, four Kendra Vidyalayas in India got the award. Out of that one, KV Hebbal got the Green Vidyalaya Award. And KV RWF got the Best Waste Manager. Apart from that one, KVS Headquarters has already constituted Swachh Vidyalaya and Harit Vidyalaya Award. So every region, we select three best Kendra Vidyalaya as a Swachh Vidyalaya, Atri as a Harid Vidyalaya. We are encouraging all of them. And we already given the award in the month of January. Sir, uh, 
But where did the idea start? Because you've been one of the brains behind this yes. you know, entire campaign here. Exactly. In my school, we adopted this scheme. And recently, when Green School Program, which awarded this one at New Delhi, hmm. so really we were very much motivated and my team of children and the teachers, we attended that program. And really we implemented and without sending any waste outside. And we'll be doing a wonderful job, not only in the school, even in the society also, mm. the entire yeah. campus. Yeah. So we were giving this awareness. There you go. Fantastic work being put in by KV here, setting an example for the entire city of Bengaluru. Right, sir. Well, I, we, I, mean, I think we were here struggling to hear a little bit yeah. of it. I think it was, it was clear enough on air. You know, I just want to, we've been seeing some really successful stories about people who made a change. And it's important to talk about people making a change because that's where people get inspiration. But I just want to spend a few minutes now taking a look at the extent of the problem. Because make no mistake about it, solid waste is a really serious problem. Solid waste is a crisis in many parts of the country. And I want to just spend some time talking to our panel of experts here. And of course, we have the one and only Amitabh Bachchan who can add his voice to it as to the extent of the problem that we are facing. Now, sir, why don't I start with you before I come to the others. When you're looking at the statistics, one lakh tons of solid waste being generated every single day in this country. When you're talking about landfills that are being clogged, when you're talking about polythene bags and garbage being there, it's an eyesore. Yes, it is. It's an eyesore. In addition to that, it's a health hazard. It's probably one of the biggest features of Swatch India that now all of us collectively need to turn our attention to. Yeah, obviously it's a huge problem. But I still want to insist that we need to start training and teaching them at a very young age. So even in their educational curriculums, if they can have a period on civics and be taught what civic sense means to a country, to a city, to a, a society, I think that eventually is taken forward uh, in the days to come. Inculcate that kind of training and thinking at a very, very young age so that by the time uh, you see others, uh, you know, being involved in open defecation, you have the ability to stop them and you have the process of trying to explain to them the problems that happen because of this and what they can do with it. Okay. So I would, I would suggest that, yes, as a school curriculum, they should have a, a civic class where these things are taught along with their maths, physics, and chemistry. Right. That, that's certainly something which I think uh, our people will be well advised to do. But if I can ask now all the panelists here the extent of the problem. And Manisha, you've been studying it with particular reference to Maharashtra. But maybe you can extrapolate there elsewhere. We've seen some of the other issues on uh, Swatch India, like uh, you know, open defecation, which obviously has been a thrust area. Uh, is it time now to move to waste management as one of the biggest urban problems that there is? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, waste is one of our single most important urban crisis. So far as Maharashtra is concerned, we generate about 25,000 tons a day. And uh, cities are simply running out of dump sites and therefore Swachh Bharat is so much the need of the hour. Uh, but I see a lot of hope uh, because when two years back, we decided to make Maharashtra open defecation free by 2017 October. We had a lot of skeptics who said it's never going to happen. And their logic was in a way strange. It, they said it is not happened for 50 years, it's never going to happen. But now we are at a threshold when we can... So just because we've got garbage lying around everywhere right now and clogging up landfills, yes. it doesn't mean it cannot change. It, that, that's what I was saying. There is a lot of hope and the idea is to connect people and individuals and societies together and uh, if people come together, I see uh, change possible. Nitish, the statistics that you've been seeing, uh, there's a reason why this year a particular focus is coming on waste management, solid waste management. What's the reason? Yeah, you know, I agree with you. It's a problem and it's going to become even bigger because there are a lot of people that are beginning to consume packaged products for the first time and we know that, you know, in the next, let's say, 10 or 15 years, uh, the ability of people to litter is actually, unfortunately, going to get bigger. 
but I, I think we should focus really on how we can stop it. I agree completely on the education. And uh, you know that as part of the Banega Swach India program, we actually have the 45 lesson hygiene curriculum, which is for all children between the ages of 7 and 11 to, uh, to be aware of all of their civic responsibilities in terms of you know, what, what it takes to keep them themselves and the environment clean. I think examples like this, which is basically people taking on the responsibility to manage their waste, uh, is also a great sign of hope. And I'd just like to take this on, you know, this whole competition of the Indian uh, Premier League, etc. Maybe we should have an Indian Swachta League, you know, or an Indian well, Dere Das Das League. That's right? what the we Hygiene Index, like I think, is trying to do. But I Hygiene Index, you have said, he's doing this, right? Uh, especially if we get f uh, fora like this, I mean, that's what it should become at some point and uh, that's the only way we can progress. Okay. Yeah. The extent of the problem on solid waste, well, what are the statistics that you've got on that? Uh, I'll, I'll just highlight the fundamental issue. The problem with waste management is that we think that it's someone else's job. We don't, we wake up to brush our teeth, but we don't wake up to segregate. So that's the fundamental issue. Another problem is that still 90% of the cities dump their garbage in landfill sites which don't meet any of the sanitary standards. So if we keep on reaching up to this level, if we keep on dumping, by 2047 we'll be somewhere between 250 to 60 million tons per year. And to dump that garbage we would need close to 1400 square kilometers of land which would be the size of Mumbai plus Hyderabad plus Greater Noida added together. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Would you want to, so, you want to just repeat all that again? A million tons of garbage a day Yes. if we don't do something about it. Yes. And the landfills for that yes. are going to be the size of Mumbai plus Hyderabad. Yes, three cities, Mumbai, Noida, Hyderabad, Greater Noida, Noida, Noida added together. And how soon is that going to happen? This would happen in 2047. So the big question is, as, we, as cities are expanding, as landfills are becoming a part of our cities, so do we want landfill facing apartments or do we want to start segregation at source at the earliest? So it's a ticking bomb. A ticking bomb. Would you agree with those statistics? Yeah, yeah. That, and you're talking about 30 years from now. Yes. An area the size of Mumbai plus Noida plus Hyderabad in fact, is the Dionar, just required I mean, for landfills yeah, if we don't do something about even it. Even the, the dump which is here in your Dionar is already reached 65 uh, meters and now it's actually causing a, it can be a danger to the flight path of uh, aircraft taking off because there are birds which come there and which can actually cause an accident. So it is actually very, very critical. Right. Paul, the extent of the problem, would you agree with them? Sure, yeah. I'd say, I mean, we all know the health consequences of broadly waste management that leads to malnutrition, stunting, diarrheal deaths, hundreds of thousands of children. I'd say beyond that, there's unquantifiable um, challenges around dignity, around shame, aspirational values of children. Um, and, and these kinds of things, I think if we understand these kinds of triggers, um, then in addition to these mass campaigns, we can work on smart behavioral design interventions. On how do you design, reframe the waste space? How do you reframe a, a garbage segregation, you know, disposal areas? Um, and, and start to get at, you know, these small nudges and these small um, right. interventions that will make so, a difference. So, Amit Ji, the problem is that it's very complicated. The problem is that the problem is that the problem is that the problem is that the उसके बारे में कुछ किया जा सकता है आप अगर शायद लोगों आपने अभी भी देखा था यहाँ इसी वजह नगर सोसाइटी में लोग किस तरह से सेग्रेगेट कर रहे हैं और अगर बस वो हम करें जो आपने ये जो कॉन्सेप्ट दिया है मेरे दस गज का अगर हर एक व्यक्ति सेग्रेगेट करने की बात करे जो ड्राई वेस्ट है उसको अलग करें वेट वेस्ट को अलग करें उससे बहुत समस्या में बहुत परिवर्तन आ सकता है कई सालों से हम लोग इसकी चर्चा कर रहे हैं और बात भी करते रहते हैं और जितने भी यहाँ पैनलिस्ट हैं मैं क्षमा चाहूँगा सब लोग हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं कि ये एक समस्या है ये बढ़ती चली जा रही है और इसको कैसे हम लोग इसका इसका निरीक्षण करेंगे कैसे इसको अवॉइड करेंगे कैसे इसका समाधान होगा लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं हमें उसके बेस में भी जाने की आवश्यकता है क्यों ऐसा हो रहा है और मैं ऐसा मानता हूं कि जब तक हम अनुशासित नहीं होंगे डिसिप्लिन नहीं होंगे ये चीज़ बढ़ती चली जाए और हम और आप लोग यहाँ बैठ कर डिस्कस करते रहेंगे कि कितनी ये जो समस्या है ये बढ़ती चली जा रही है और वी वुड ट्राई टू फाइंड वेज एंड मीन्स ऑफ हाउ टू गेट रिड ऑफ इट बट आई थिंक वी नीड टू फर्स्ट स्टार्ट एट द वेरी बेस एंड ब्रिंग इन डिसिप्लिन अमंगस्ट ऑल ऑफ अस अमंगस्ट ऑल नेशनल दैट बाय डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ वेरी बिग रॉन्ग दैट रॉन्ग इज नॉट गोइंग टू गेट सॉल्व सो ईजिली सो लेट अस डिसिप्लिन आर सेल्स फर्स्ट एंड दिस कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एलिमेंट्री थिंग्स यू नो 
which side of the road you need to walk, whether you want to stop at the red light or not, where to cross on the, on the proper zebra crossing. Very simple disciplinary actions which none of us, unfortunately, seem to follow. And we build this temperament that because it's a carefree kind of an attitude, we are carefree about the environment as well. So I think we need to inculcate some sense of discipline in us so that these problems don't arise. Yes, there are whole kinds of technologies now prevalent to take care of the problem. But what is being done to stop the creation of that problem? Yeah. And, and sir, when it comes to solid waste management, the first question that many people are going to have is, what do we do about it? This is the government's problem. They have to figure yeah. out the landfills. They have to, you know, the MCD should do it. The Mumbai Corporation should do it. But actually, as we have seen out here, you can do something about it yourself. So maybe we can we can show you some of what is happening. We are at the Vijayanagar Society, uh, and they are actually done it on their own. They have shown us all how it can be done. Every single there are 2,000 people who are here in this particular society. They generate 4,500 kilograms of waste. Now that would just be piling up and going into into dumps. Actually, that entire garbage is being managed. It's also almost zero garbage. This particular society. Why? We saw it just a short while back. Maybe we can play you some of the pictures and, and then we will, we will continue to hear from, from people here. But while we are waiting for that, let me just ask Madhu also, who is here from the Pali Hills uh, Resident Society. Uh, I believe you are also trying something similar. Yes, sir, but in a little bit more uh, elaborate manner. Uh, with the help of the BMC, our ward officer, the solid weight ma management people and our MLA, what we are doing is now is uh, the entire Pali Hill of 1.4 kilometers is segregating their garbage at the root level. That garbage we are not going to be disposing at the uh, dump yards. We are going to be converting it into a biogas in Pali Hill itself and converting it into energy. That energy will be lighting 100 LEDs of street lights on Pali Hill. That is what we are going to be doing. Yeah, that's, that's really wonderful. Um, I'm really impressed that somebody uh, like you is taking part in this society, in this, in this region where you live. And I hope that people can follow your example in other parts of other societies as well and other suburbs as well. That's what we need. We need inspirational people like you to come and talk about it and see how best it can be used, not just to dispose it off, but to reuse it for something more profitable, more gainful, for the environment and for the society as well. Right. Yes. And, and you know, it's so important to share the positive stories of what can actually be done because sometimes, you know, people say news channels and others are only showing what the terrible things that are happening and telling us about all the problems, but not actually showing any solutions. Yeah. Now, these are problems, yes. These are serious issues, yes. But there are solutions that can be found and lots of individuals have found solutions to those. Those are what the ones that we are highlighting. They are uh, societies like, like yours and the one that we are in. They are schools. We are showing you that, some of that as well. There are solutions and it's important to focus on that. Let's, for example, go across now to the Sh uh, Kolkata Shri Shri Academy, which is also doing great work in many of these areas. Saurabh Gupta joining us from there. Uh, Saurabh, what, what are the students there doing? Well, Vikram, I must tell you that I was very, very impressed once I walked into this school and uh, some of the beautiful artwork on display is all made of recycled material and this is plastic. Now, this is usually that would go into the dustbin and end up in a place like Deonar in Mumbai or the dump yard here in Dhapa. But that's not happening. It's being used, it's being innovatively used, creatively used to make something out of it and I'll come right back to the students who are behind all of this and uh, I'll start with uh, you first. So how are you doing all of this and why are you doing all of this and who told you to do all of this or was it your own idea? Uh, since the start of the school, our, one of the main principles of our school is to reduce our waste, recycle our waste and reuse whatever is not completely destroyed. Uh, and uh, our, we are, this is what fuels us to do all these things and our principal ma'am is always encouraging us uh, to save because someday the world will be full of garbage if we go on in this path, like dumping wherever so you're aware and you're doing your bit and that's what also 
you know, this whole campaign is about to point out what people are doing, like uh, Vikram and Mr. Bachchan have been talking about. Segregation of waste, and there again, right in front of us, is what this school does with the waste. And uh, uh, I have the students also here who are, you know, behind all of these initiatives because. If this just comes as a directive, it doesn't work. It has to have the students involved. It has to have the students take an active role in all of this. So segregation of waste, again, tell me what are you doing with segregation of waste? How are you doing all of this? And this happens every day and not a single piece of waste goes out of your school unsegregated. Yes, so we have divided waste into five segments. One would be plastic waste, one would be food waste, one would be e-waste, paper waste, and glass waste. So uh, the food waste goes to the compost pit that's right there and the paper, paper waste goes to a mill and there it is again made into new paper, whatever kind of paper that's there. Uh, we cannot do much about plastic and glass waste that is non-biodegradable uh, and the e-waste that is the electronic waste is properly disposed. We are, means it is a common mistake in the household of people that we do not dispose e-waste properly. That is very, very important and it's important to note that. And, you know, one of the more interesting things here, and that's something really important, is, you know, water and how we manage our water resources. And that's something also we've been talking about. And uh, you're going to tell us about water management and what you do with recycling of water. Recycling is the main motto in our school. So we have air-conditioned classrooms and the outlets from each and every classroom, we just collect the waters, the outlet water, and we uh, collect these in, through the pipes in such buckets and it's getting collected and then we use such waters to water the fields for the cleaning purpose and also to water the plants. And 10 such buckets of water we save daily to water the plants and cleaning purposes. So each is about, I guess, Liters and liters of water. So and 10 such buckets are saved. 10 such buckets. Oh. Interesting things being done at the school level and it's amazing to see what kids can do if they are led uh, on the right path. And this is of course one of the major aims of the campaign uh, like Mr. Bachchan was talking about, Miradas Gaz. And these students have ensured that their 10 yards or their 10 yards is absolutely clean. It's environment friendly. The waste is recycled and we do not cause harm to the environment with the items we use for our daily needs. I just want to ask, uh, you know, it's wonderful to hear these children, and as I've been saying, we've been hearing a lot of students from various parts of the country and schools talking about, uh, so professionally about environment and waste management. Do they carry the same philosophy to their homes as well? Do you carry this philosophy to your homes? You heard the question. Yeah, we carry it to our homes and I guess each and every student of the school who is a part of this school believes in this, what was in, it was taken up as an initiative in our school by each and every student which is done in school as well as at home for each and every student here. We even have certain programs like wormy composting where we have a pit that side as I can show you uh, over there. Okay. And uh, what we do is this waste, food waste, which is brought by students to school, we segregate the waste into dry waste, vegetable peels, and we remove any sort of non-vegetarian waste or oils and citric fruits. And then it is placed in those tanks where we compost and make manure out of it, which is used in the vegetable garden that we have in our school. So, well, I mean, you know, to be honest, we did none of this in our school, so I must presume that, yes, People are doing a lot more than they would earlier in the schools. All right, Saurabh, thanks a lot for joining us. And, and it's really fascinating and fantastic to see some of the work being done. Uh, and, and that's really what we are showing you. A lot of people are starting to take the initiative into their own hands. It's not just the government doing it. Lots of individuals, schools, societies, RWAs, individuals are coming out and making a difference. And if they can do it, you can make a difference too. Just wanted to get any final thoughts you have on how other societies could do what you're doing. Sir, it is very simple. Khud karo, apne aap ke liye karo. Baaki sab chhod dijiye. Apne liye jab karenge ek ek individual, to apne aap wo combination ho ke ek muthi ban jayegi aur ho jayega. Amit ji, ye aap hi ki baat hai. Mere das gas. Ji ji, bilkul. Bilkul sahi kaha apne. 
अपने लिए करो और सभी लोग अगर अपने लिए करना शुरू करेंगे तो पूरा समाज जो है वही परिवर्तित हो जाएगा बिल्कुल सर राइट आई एम अबाउट टू रैप अपनी फाइनल थॉट्स फ्रॉम एवरीवन रियली नीड टू बिगिन एट द हाउस होल्ड लेवल बिगिन स्मॉल बट बिगिन फॉर श्योर सेग्रीगेट मेक कंपोस्ट आउट ऑफ वेट वेस्ट द रिसाइक्लेबल्स विल गो फॉर रिसाइकलिंग I have two thoughts. One is, I think children seem to be the most inspiring leaders. Absolutely. Right? I think if we can get children, even that little girl who was showing us the bin, the more children we get into this movement, I think the better the chances of success. How do we really get, you know, this message down to every school in the country? It's probably the biggest thing. Maybe under Mere Das Gaz, if every school can, you know, take on the Mere Das Gaz mantle and prove that basically their own space is clean, I think the movement is done. Okay. Um, I wanted to highlight that there are cities doing commendable work. There's Alipi, which is a zero landfill city. There's Mysuru, where 90% of the households segregate waste. So let's aim at segregation and make waste management like brushing our teeth. You know, you have to do it yourself every day. Right. Just one technical question I wanted to ask you: Do you need to do five different segregations as the school in Kolkata was doing, or are two enough? I think it's also about resource efficiency. The more you segregate, it's not waste anymore. you know uh, it can be given to recyclers if you're doing a two point segregation it's fine but somebody has to do more work there's panaji that is segregating waste into 30 different resources there's mysuru which is segregating waste into 28 different components so the more you segregate the more value you make out of it but it also means i mean if, if you make it too complicated people are less likely to do it i guess yes, that's the issue yes that's the maharashtra we are telling households is that at the household level you do it in two way and your municipality will do it in uh, more different ways for the driving okay your yeah. final thoughts i would just say uh, citizens just should you guys should just continue to engage with your governments keep them accountable uh, learn about the issues uh, organize committees and uh, keep doing what you're doing all right i think if you begin a movement of doing everything for our own self in our own society i think the government will take care of the rest i think every time we should not depend on government to do everything because we are a large country we don't have so much of resources so i think that's probably the most biggest learning from today's program and and i chief said if if individuals will at least just segregate dry and the wet waste separate biodegradable from the rest then the municipalities can can then separate the dry waste further exactly and we all take care of our own health and we don't realize by doing this we are again injuring ourselves i mean just think of that okay let me get your final thoughts i i agree with uh, mr bachan's uh, point that starts with education starts with an attitude change and then it translates into the action which is needed because the technologies are there everything is there the support systems can be there but it needs to be brought about by change in the individual attitude towards garbage and the general environment okay let's just quickly touch on one last residential uh, complex this is in gurugram garden estate a very well known uh, housing uh, complex out there which is again shown how cleanliness can be achieved in a cost effective manner with a well designed system for house to house collection of solid waste so snigda is out there snigda bataiye wahan kya ho raha hai garden estate mein kya kya kaam kiya jata hai right vikram you know all thanks to our colleague gargi rawat who's a resident in this complex who told us about this initiative so basically this residential complex of 373 flats uh, sprawled over 22 acres they have taken up this initiative for the last one year where they all segregate and they also do a water um, treatment system so let us speak to the resident who actually started this initiative mr keshav mr keshav uh, how did this initiative come about and what is your uh, model that is different from the other models that we have seen so far okay uh, i was doing my segregation and composting for a long time but uh, some of the residents asked me but why are you not doing it for the whole community so i talked to my president he says just go ahead it has to be done and we started about a year and 3 months ago the big difference in our composting system against the others is that we've done this for 2000 residents 240 kilos every day composted at a cost of just 50000 rupees the composting system has just cost us 50000 rupees we have copied exactly what nature does we've not done anything different So take us take us through this uh, segregator what does it do Okay one of the issues we were facing that the leaves were very big so they were not composting easily so we bought a small shredder for only the dry leaves the big leaves as you can see on top get shredded and come down initially we had this we put this blue pipe on it and we put a little tub on it so that we can work it better so it's a little bit of a jugadu we've done but it works beautifully 
And what about the, the different segregation buckets that you uh, gave to all the residents? Right. We follow exactly the system followed in Bangalore, which has also been told by the NGT guidelines, which is you have to have two bins, one bag. Minimum three-way segregation has to be done. Green is always for your kitchen waste. And the red is for all your rejects, like diapers, street sweepings and all. The white bag is for recycling. But here the important thing is recyclables can only be recycled if they are clean and they're not smelly. The minute they're smelly, dirty, they'll go into the red. So you're telling me the, the general conception is if I am throwing a plastic that is a recyclable bottle, but you're saying if it is not clean, my waste picker is not going to put it in the recycling bin. Yes, absolutely. The waste picker is like us. He is not going to do extra work if it doesn't suit him. If he's not going to get money from something, he's also not going to do it. And it's only fair that we segregate everything and give it to him so that he can get more value out of it. Definitely. So um, one of, I mean, this was the initiative, but basically the main crusader have been these young students who've gone from house to house and educated and created awareness about uh, the entire mission. Anusha here joins us. Anusha, how did this, uh, you know, how did you do it? We went to, some of us went to house to house to get the segregation done. So this is how the segregation has been done. The green one is for the kitchen waste, the red one is for the bathroom waste, and the bag is for recycling waste. We do this to keep our earth clean, and we have been doing this for around two years. So you went from, you started with your building, you said. So what did your neighbors, did they have some questions that you answered, and how did it go? They, yes, they did have questions to ask, and they had questions like, can we still use the bags if the if they like a fail can we still okay. use them okay but okay. and you feel now you have made a difference that the entire residential complex is doing it yes i do okay so an excited excited student a crusader who's made difference and here we have uh, the mali and the person who does take care of the entire composting ab bataiye aapko isse kitna benefit hua hai pure garden area ke liye isse mein kafi zyada pehle hum kya karte the ki garden district jo bhi horticulture mein jo bhi hota tha kafi zyada hota tha to hum bahar ja kar fekte the uske baad humne yahan alag alag karke पार्टीशन बनाए कि ये ये कूड़ा यहाँ डालेंगे यहाँ डाल उसके बाद अलग करके हम वो काफ़ी हम जो प्रॉब्लम है हमने सॉल्व कर लिया है जो 100 किलो में तकरीबन हम 15 से 20 किलो बाहर भेजते हैं बाद बाकी सारा हम कंपोस्टिंग में यूज कर लेते हैं और पहले कंपोस्ट खरीदते थे पहले हम खरीदते थे खरीदते थे बाहर से अब हम खुद बनाते हैं टोटल गार्डन स्टेट में हम खुद ही अपना ही कंपोस्ट करते हैं यूज अच्छा एंड और कोई चैलेंजेस कोई प्रॉब्लम होती है जो सोचते हैं अब उसको फिक्स करना चाहिए नहीं ऐसी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जो भी सेटअप है हमारा बढ़िया चल रहा है लोग भी इसमें हमारे साथ सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं काम भी कर रहे हैं जो भी हमारे पूरे स्टाफ है मिलकर और सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम जो हम बाहर कचरा फेंकते थे हम पहले ज्यादा ज्यादा मैंने सौ के में पंद्रह के जी बाहर नहीं जाते बाद बाकी सारा कुछ हम यही कर लेते हैं यूज शॉर्ट आउट यही कर लेते हैं अलग अलग करके ओके सो दे यू कैन सी इट आई मीन यू नो दे यूज टू बिफोर बाय कॉम्पोस्ट बट नाउ दे यूज द कॉम्पोस्ट दैट दे मेक दे मेक अबाउट फोर्टीन और ट्वेल्व टन्स इन फोर्टीन मंथ्स एंड दे यूज दैट कॉम्पोस्ट एंड वट एवर रिमेन्स दे एक्चुअली शेयर इट विद नेबरिंग parks neighboring rwas i have the precedent also you know it's often thought that waste management is difficult it's challenging and it perhaps can be costly too but here's a happy precedent tell us why you are happy well, it was a totally in house initiative and uh, it's like do it yourself uh, there was initial experimentation but it worked extremely well and uh, we did try and obtain quotations for a plant for manufacturers that was around 9 lakhs what our team did here was a perfectly workable system for 50000 rupees now how happy can you be and you also share the compost and you have a river and a water treatment facility too we have a sewage treatment plant where we generate almost 75000 liters of water a day so if you go around garden state it's all lush and green because we have plenty of water and the surplus water we give to biodiversity park once a week that's a part of our social responsibility so also the uh, the extra compost that we generate so i think uh, everybody's a winner all round so vikram there you have it uh, you know they don't only just use it but 
you know, temperatures hovering around 45 degrees in Delhi and Gurugram. People want to water their gardens. They water their gardens and they share water and compost with biodiversity parks. They have RWAs from the neighboring area coming to learn and to model the system. So, you know, this residential complex really tells us that everyone can play a part and perhaps such small models can be modeled and turned into an entire city initiative. Right. Well, thanks a lot for that. So, you know, as we as we wrap up now, I think the, the, the obvious thing to learn from all of this is the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is one of the most successful campaigns that this government is running, certainly in terms of public perception. It seems to have caught the imagination of people and is making a big change. A lot of the focus so far has been on solving open defecation, the building of toilets, and when that used to be the issue that many people were talking about, many individuals would say, what can we do about it? How do we make a difference? Now, this cleaning up waste, helping the authorities and the municipalities, doing something about solid waste management is something that every individual, one of us, can help in. Our uh, resident welfare associations can do it, schools can do it, individuals can do it. And then, of course, it is the responsibility of the government to take it forward. And, of course, uh, the voice for the entire Banega Swach India uh, campaign, the Swach Bharat Abhiyan, is Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. And I have to say, your lending your voice to this, your lending your face to this campaign has really gone a very long way in making it as popular as it is. Would everyone agree with that here? Yeah, thank you. So, so who better to get to say a final word and also, sir, to encourage people on yeah. solid waste management than you? So I'm going to leave the final word to you. Well, I'm, I'm just uh, truly grateful that uh, all of us have taken part in this program. And every season that we come here, we find a lot of initiatives done by people that are unknown. And it's wonderful to hear these lovely children talking so much about environment. And this is a prayer for so today I want to say that today and now we all have to pray that we will not only have to do the work but also the karma. And we will do the work so that the coming of the 2 October we will be able to do the Rastri Swachita Divas. And I will be able to join with my 10 years of work and I will be able to keep the Swach Bharat of Neev. And tell us about our thoughts and tell us about what you have done for your 10 years of work. हमें आप लिखिए ट्वीट कीजिए हैश मेरे दस गज एम ई आर ए टेन जी यू जेड या लॉग ऑन करें एन डी टी वी डॉट कॉम स्लैश स्वच्छ इंडिया और अपने दस गज की कहानियाँ साझा करें आने वाले राष्ट्रीय स्वच्छता दिवस पर हम दिखाएंगे आपके दस गज की कहानी इसलिए हमारे साथ आप जुटे रहिए क्योंकि हम साथ आएंगे तभी बनेगा स्वच्छ इंडिया बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद विक्रम आपका and to all of you here for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And to this wonderful Thank society. You.